Delaware County community is still dealing with the impact of a fuel leak that happened over the weekend. It's believed thousands of gallons of gasoline spilled from a gas station into a nearby river, killing wildlife along the way. It also forced kids at a nearby school to have to learn from home. Our Kelly Rule is live in Brookhaven with the latest on the investigation and the cleanup process. Probably going to be a big one, Kelly. Yeah, Shana, it's certainly a mess, and I can tell you a county leader says this all started Friday night at this gas station behind me as a worker was delivering fuel. Something happened that led to a spill down the hill, and it wasn't reported. No one knew it happened until neighbors woke up and could smell it. So crews were out here digging out the contaminated soil all day. It's all a part of a lengthy cleanup ahead. That was definitely a shocker to hear that. Shaded backyards that border Coburn Elementary School, quiet and empty Monday. This man who didn't want to be on camera says you'd normally find his daughter back here and his dog in the creek. That may not happen for a while. Got to keep her away from it. If something happened to my dog, I mean, that would be, that'd be terrible. There's a lot of wildlife that, that died from this, so it's very, it's very unfortunate. I certainly think it's a disaster given the quantity of gasoline. Director of Emergency Services in Delaware County, Timothy Boyce, says at least 4,000 gallons of fuel spilled late Friday night, and it spread into a storm drain and at least a mile through a creek. They believe it happened during a fuel delivery at the Gas and Go at the corner of Coburn Boulevard and Edgemont Avenue in Brookhaven, and it's now the subject of a criminal investigation with the Delaware County District Attorney's Office, who went to the scene Monday. We're here out of concern for the environmental impact and certainly the human impact that that spill may have had. One of the consequences from this not being reported by someone responsible is we're eight hours behind in a cleanup and remediation. Voice said it's led to fish among dozens of other animals dying. Lewis environmental crews spread out across the damage zone to clean up alongside staff with the State Department of Environmental Protection, also investigating the cause and any water contamination. Neighbors' homes are safe. They just have to stay away from the creek. This much gasoline flowing through a neighborhood, somebody had to know and somebody should be responsible. If there's a bigger impact because somebody waited, you know, that's a shame too. Now, investigators do not believe there was a direct impact to Coburn Elementary School, which is just feet from where we are standing. Uh, but school officials say there will be a meeting tomorrow. They're going to conduct some additional tests, and that means another day of virtual learning. Unfortunately, the last day of school is Friday, so students and staff may not have a chance to get back in there before then, but they're going to take it day by day. Kelly Rule live in Brookhaven for us. Thank you, Kelly.